Good evening YouTube and welcome back to Just Another Average Stacker. I just wanted to say thank you all for taking the time to review my videos. Please, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Let's get these subscribers up over 200 for me here soon. And also make sure you hit that like and share these videos with your friends. I wanted to do a quick video tonight, um, a very unexpected video. Uh, last night, yesterday, was my birthday and had plans to go out to dinner with family and everything and that kind of fell through and I happened to work with my father and my mother and so today at work we were getting ready to go out to lunch since we didn't go out to dinner last night and they were wanted to take me out to lunch and my dad hands me up this great big cardboard box that happens to have one of our, our materials in it that we normally order so I was a little confused, and my mom just kind of smiled and just said, what is that? And I was like, well, that's one of our materials that we use. It's like, why is it back on your desk, and why is he handing it to me? So anyhow, he's like, well, maybe that doesn't have the uh, cans of glue in it that it normally does. Maybe you should open it. And I picked up the box, and it was probably close to the size of a monster box, about that size. And it felt empty. And so I'm like, okay. I was like, is there really anything inside of here? And he's like, yeah. So I'm like, okay, so there's something kind of special going on here. I just had this feeling. And so open it up and I see on the, or at first I shake it and like there's nothing shaking around. And I get it opened up and I see wrapped up in some, a paper towel with a rubber band wrapped around it, taped to the side of the box. And I was like, okay, well, what do we got going on here? And my parents have know that I collect precious metals, that I've recently started doing this, and they think it's funny and just kind of laugh around about it with me. And they don't take it seriously. But then all of a sudden I open it up and I pull the tape off and I pull it out and I happen to come and I find this beauty. This wonderful beauty. Let's see if we can get this to, to focus well. 10 gram credit Swiss bar. Serial number there at the bottom, four nines fine. with Lady Liberty on the back side. Really pretty bar, 10 gram. Let's see if I can get what that says there at the bottom. It says Liberty. It's kind of hard to see it. But as you can see, it, it's a very, very nice piece. It really shocked me. My. Uh, my dad really went out of his way on this. Um, he told me where he purchased it from, and I asked, I said, I hope you didn't pay us, get raked over the coals on it. And he didn't. He said afterwards he went back and did a little bit of research, and it was a little bit higher than what it should have been, but given that it was from a, uh, a We Buy Gold jewelry store, he didn't do too bad from what I understand. And also somebody that we know. And it turns out that it was a uh, former family, through marriage, family member of ours. Um, so I, I happened to stop into the shop today and saw him and said thank you for helping my dad out. Really appreciated it. And he's like, yeah, if you ever want to buy some silver, come let me know. I can get you some really good deals on, on eagles or junk silver. So... He had mentioned about eleven fifty per dollar face value of junk silver right now, um, so I may have found some place to um, pick up some precious metals locally. Unlike the uh, the shop that tried to sell it at sixteen times to me and wanted eight dollars over spot for American Eagles and so forth. So anyhow, I just wanted to come and share that uh, birthday number forty eight. For me, yesterday, January 22nd, 
one ten gram Credit Swiss Liberty Bar. So I hope you all have a wonderful evening. This is Jazz signing out for tonight. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.